Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Helping to educate, inform, and celebrate our region's manufacturing successes. Because great things are happening in all of our communities. In Elmsdale, Nova Scotia, there is a place making the sweetest treats. At the Sweet Spot Chocolate Shop, candy makers Nancy and Greg start with the highest quality ingredients to make candy that people love to eat. These candy experts keep all their formulas secret. So secret, in fact, they are written in code. To begin production, the caramel cooker is turned on and slowly heats up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Wet and dry ingredients are measured out in advance. The wet ingredients are added first, a combination of cream, condensed milk and butter. Then it's time for the dry ingredients, a combination of different sugars and some salt. The agitator goes to work stirring for an hour while the ingredients transform into caramel. Making caramel creates heat and humidity, which isn't good for the rest of the candy production. So this caramel cooker is in a room on its own. The caramel changes color as it heats up and cooks. A tray is lined. And after about an hour, the golden bubbling caramel is ready to be poured. At 230 degrees, this hot, sticky caramel requires an expert pour. First into a bowl, then onto the lined tray. The candy maker works quickly, filling four trays with each batch of cooked caramel and setting them to cool. After cooling completely overnight, the caramel is soft and shiny and ready for cutting. A traditional marking tool is used to press cutting lines into the caramel. First in one direction, then the next. Using a sharp knife, the edges are trimmed and the caramel is cut into bars. The bars are placed on a tray right away Otherwise, the caramel would melt back together. Each tray makes over 300 squares of caramel. The caramel is sold in bars or is cut into squares for dipping in chocolate. Tempered dark chocolate is collected in a bowl, then poured into the hand dipping station. The chocolate is 91 degrees Fahrenheit the caramel squares are dropped into the chocolate a few at a time. Hand dipping is a traditional method that is much harder than it looks. Using one hand, the candy maker scoops up the caramel and gently squeezes it against her palm. Moving the caramel to her fingertips, she transfers the caramel to the other hand, then quickly flips it upside down onto a tray making the signature decorations on the top by moving her fingers apart. Caramel squares are also made covered in milk chocolate, which are done on the enrobing machine. The caramel squares are loaded onto the moving tray. They pass under a ribbon of pouring tempered milk chocolate. Next, a blower gently removes any excess chocolate. The decoration is done by hand as they move out of the dryer. The candies then move slowly the length of the cooling tunnel. At the end, they're loaded by hand into paper cups. Fresh marshmallow is an unexpected but perfect treat. And of course, it's the key ingredient in s'mores. To begin, Powdered gelatin is added to warm water and stirred. The gelatin begins to bloom. Water is added to a bowl of granulated sugar and corn syrup. Fold it, then mix together. 
While the mixture cooks, vanilla is measured into a bowl. After cooking, the mixture is added to the vanilla and mixed well to dissolve all the sugars for a nice, smooth marshmallow. The gelatin is strained into the mixture. Then it's mixed at various speeds for the next five minutes while it transforms in color, taste, and texture. The finished fluffy mixture is poured onto a tray to set. After it's cooled and set, the texture of the marshmallow is firm but spongy. Big squares are cut and placed on top of a graham cracker. Next, they take a trip through the end rover, where they are generously coated in milk chocolate. The fan leaves a wavy texture on top. These s'mores are a perfect summertime treat. Molded chocolates are a big hit at the Sweet Spot Chocolate Shop. With hundreds of molds to choose from, today they are making flip-flop pops. A metering pump is programmed to dispense the right amount of chocolate for the particular mold. This one needs 32 grams. Using a foot control, the candy maker ensures the molds are filled evenly with warm milk chocolate. After filling, the molds are placed on a vibrating table. This motion removes any air bubbles and ensures the mold is entirely filled. Lollipop sticks are added to each sweet treat. Then the tray goes into the fridge to cool. After a half hour, the chocolate is ready to be demolded. A gentle twist is all they need. A piping bag is filled with warm chocolate and piped on ready for decoration. For the finishing touch, the chocolate pop is dipped in multicolored sprinkles. It's off to packaging where they're wrapped individually in cellophane bags and sealed with a twist. The candy makers at the Sweet Spot Chocolate Shop make many different types of chocolate. Here at the Packer Machine, boxes are lined up for filling with assorted chocolate treats. The machine manages different types of chocolates from an internal stacking system. While chocolates are hand-picked, and the box is filled. Each box is topped with a candy cushion called a wattlin. The label is added, and each box is finished off with a ribbon.